Hi, Anita. Um, I had a question on the New Zealand Curly Girl page about how step by step I did my um, co wash and my refresh. So I thought that I'd make a video because I found videos really helpful to watch um, of other girls and how they do it. So I thought that I would do the same for the people that were asking. Um, so this is how I woke up this morning. Um, it's literally just day three, so I don't know if um, this is all working for my hair yet, but I'll figure it out later. I sleep on a satin pillowcase with my little pineapple and one of those fun little hair ties. Um, yesterday was my first refresh day, and the day before that was my co-wash day. I did my final wash with a dishwashing liquid and then um, Garnier hair food. So yesterday's refresh was with this conditioner. It's on the page um, for the Curly Girl Safe conditioners. Um, I put probably about that much of the conditioner in a spray bottle with probably about that much water. And yesterday was a little bit um, frizzy and kind of glucky, but I don't know if it was because there's too much conditioner or if it's because it was cold yesterday and my hair just didn't dry. But anyway, so I will just show you how to refresh today. So, so you're gonna separate your hair in half and then you're gonna clip it. Separate, half, yep, cool. Then you spray bottle condition, spray bottle condition, spray bottle condition. And sometimes when it gets really, really, really drenched in conditioner or product, then you can use a t-shirt. While I'm scrunching, scrunching, uh, you can use a t-shirt, but I think it makes my hair fluffy, so I've cut back on the t-shirt unless it's really, really, really wet. So you spray, 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 spray. Scrunch. And then t-shirt. See, there's a t-shirt, but I just used it a little bit because it was so wet. Hello, gel. That much. Helena. That much. Probably too much. You could definitely get away with a lot less on day two refresh. As I found out probably at the end of the day when it was all fluffy and kind of cute. So probably use less. So take half, the other half of your hair, the other third of your hair, yep, third, okay, spray, spray, spray. Here's just a great slow-mo of the spraying. Keep spraying, yep, lots and lots of spraying. Massage it through, spray your phone, and get conditioner all over the mirror so that you can't actually see what you're doing, and scratch. So you... Spray condition, oh yep, t-shirt again, just once, see, see. So you spray condition each layer and then you scratch it. And then you work the product through and then you scrunch it. Just in case you see me not doing that for every shot. See, like this shot, I'm spray, spray, spray conditioning. Spray, 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 conditioning. Still spray conditioning. Still spray conditioning. And then all of a sudden I didn't scrunch, but I did scrunch and I put product in there. So just to be clear, we spray condition each layer, we product each layer, and then we scrunch. Scrunch, scrunch. See? Scrunch. Lots of scrunch. And then we go upside down and we scrunch. And then we don't touch the curls. Okay, so all done with my refresh now. Um, you can, if you like, take some bobby pins. Mine's just in a Mentos. Um, okay, so you can take some bobby pins. It depends on how much um, lift you want at the top. I'm not too fussed about what's going on at the top. So if it's flatter, then that's fine. It'll come later. Um, but a lot of people find that it is quite helpful taking a couple of those strands and twisting them a bit and just pinning them. Because then it's out of your face. Um, out of your face and it gives you some lift later. When I did this yesterday though, it kind of um, ended up just sticking to my forehead and it could have been, like I said before, because I used too much um, conditioner in the spray bottle or because it was just really cold and wet yesterday so it didn't dry properly. So it could have been a little mixture of that. Um, 
So today I'm actually going to try without the bobby pins. So um, this is an option, but I'm just going to try it without the bobby pins. And um, I find that my fringe has enough curl sort of as it is. So I'm just going to smush, smush, smush. And then I'm going to leave it. I'm going to go out. It's nice and sunny outside, so hopefully it'll dry. I'm going to leave the house and then I'll come back later and I'll show you what it looks like. Um, cool. Bye. Hi. So, um... I did a video yesterday of my end of the day hair, but um, when I uploaded it to um, the video editing software, it wouldn't work. So it was just playback. But anyway, this is what my hair looks like. I went to the physio. I went for a walk to the physio and then I got tortured by him. Um, and then I walked back and it was a really windy day. Um, it was nice and warm and the sun was shining but it was super windy so I think that's why it got so fluffy. I'm not sure if it's fluffy because I put too much conditioner in or because it's just day three and my hair is still transitioning or if I put too much water because I read somewhere that if you put water in your hair um, to refresh then sometimes it can go fluffy so I'm still sort of figuring it all out and seeing what works in my hair. Um, but yeah, this is the product of day two refresh. Um, and like I said, it was nice and sunny and windy and I walked and I did some gardening. Um, so I was out pretty much all day. So it could be why it's so fluffy, but um, oh yeah, any questions, just fire away. Bye.